Yo, 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 guys, this is DJ, and, uh, I thought that since there's going to be a new Slayer Monster update that requires level 78 to kill, I thought that I would show you the location and show you the Slayer Caves over there. So, first off, gonna go straight to the Slayer, Mon the Slayer Master in Edgeville. Um, this guy will sell you all of your Slayer, uh, things that you could need for whatever tasks. Um, already I got some broad arrows, leaf blade spear, um, mirror shield, slayer staff. Those are all the items that you'll need up here. Um, lastly, uh, you'll need let's see, there it is, some bags of salt. Um, now see what we're gonna do here is we're gonna teleport up to the Slayer Caves. So, so there's a few ways to get there. You can set your house up in Relica and just run to the east. You can uh, teleport to Camelot and run to the north. You can use a, a Draman staff if you've completed the Lunar, or not the Lunar, but the Fairy Ring quests. And you can teleport up here with that. I'll put the code in the description. Um, or you can use the ring, like I just did. Now, here's the first one, Cave Crawlers. Uh, basically, the only thing that I can see that you would need for these things is an anti-poison. Maybe if you're really, really low level, maybe a few uh, few food and some decent gear. Um, these things don't really drop nothing. So, uh, these are all monsters pretty much just for Slayer tasks. I wouldn't recommend killing any of these for money or nothing. So here we go. I'm gonna continue on in the caves. There's an obstacle right there. It requires 81 agility, but um, not many people have that. So, well, not many people that have that come here. I should say. All right, with these rock slugs, you can knock them down to such low HP, but you can't kill them unless you have a bag of salt. Simply use your bag of salt on it, and it dies for you. That simple. There are like 22 HP, I believe. 27 HP. Okay. And sprinkle some salt, and it's dead. All right. Next. Those uh, also I would require, you know, just some decent mage defense armor. For some reason they hit you in melee gear. So, all right. These are the cockatrices. The pains in the asses. Make sure you have a mirror shield. It's the only way to kill these without losing your stats. So. And, uh, basically you just need some melee gear to kill these, and they're pretty simple to kill, nothing really required. They drop these cockatrice eggs, which are used for summoning. Um, also they're used for herb lore in the summoning pots, so that's kind of cool, but they're not really anything good. They're good for ranner herbs, they drop a lot of herbs, but nothing I would recommend killing. Alright, um, with these fire... Uh, pyrophenes. Uh, I require hide, or I would super recommend hides, um, like black dehyde or something, you know. And uh, yeah, these are pretty simple to kill too. You just simply attack them, and they're pretty much gonna get just killed. But to your yeah, to your whip or whatever weapon that you're using, real simple task. Um, Use, bring a few food though, because these things can tend to hit a little bit. Even on myself, but they hit me a little bit. It's kind of annoying. So, alright, moving on. Oh, there's no item that you need to kill those, by the way. Uh, the fire fiends. These require your shield again. Simple, simple task. Just definitely have that mirror shield, otherwise these will drain your stats as well. Hmm. I would suggest melee gear for these ones. So, uh, nothing required to kill them other than the shield. No sprinkling of nothing or anything. So, drop that. Right. Next would be the jellies. And with these, you need hides. Definitely need hides because these things will rip through melee melee gear. Simple. Like, I'll even show you. These these hit like hell on melee gear. Oops. 
see on my end of fence and it's it'll hit me a lot really like i don't know why i'm tanking this one out but when you like you use like got on these to heal or whatever when you're doing a turoth task these are freaking annoying as hell because they do beat up on melee gear so bad especially when you have a, a, a task of 150 of them it's really annoying so bring hides and your defense bonus will be great enough to definitely last throughout a task of these also i suggest bringing an inventory of food they drop a uh, few rune items though so they're pretty good um for a sub task they also drop a lot of char uh clue scrolls actually um, a lot of clue scroll clue scrolls and they're really good for that all right um these are the taroths um in my opinion the most hated task that jagex has made uh, i've done one task of this and i can't stand it but for the video i will put myself through the pain and agony of killing these um for these you need either a leaf bladed spear broad arrows broad bolts or um, slayer darts which i'll put slayer dart on right now because i'd rather slayer dart than do this crap so you just yeah pretty much kill these using like mage gear well with slayer dart the difference is that you can actually use armor and hit really really well on these things because slayer dart it doesn't depend on your mage offense it depends on your opponent's mage defense so if they have a low mage defense then and you have even low mage of offense it doesn't matter that's why people suggest using slayer dart at dk's because you know you can just stand there and got things and just mage without any you know downside of your spells so well on rex at least you know but that i'll get into it in another video obviously all right and last of all would be the Karask. another annoying task um you need melee gear and uh a leaf bladed item uh leaf bladed spear um also there is a leaf bladed sword i just remembered because this kid has one um that's a leaf bladed sword uh or you can slayer dart these as well so that's what i will do can't be bothered doing anything else and obviously you can see that these are level 106 so these are for the higher levels and it's definitely important to have some food on you for these ones um that's about these oh, that's about that uh soon enough the new monster will come out and uh i'll post up a video about that and you guys will get to see it so comment rate subscribe uh i hope you're all excited for the new slayer monster as I said again, it's level 78 to kill it. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.